Hello again. Is Sarah Phelps the Alpha Female in Westboro Baptist Church? That's a good question to ask. Some people would think she's not. A lot of people would tend to think Megan Phelps Roper is the Alpha Female. In fact, someone I know who will remain anonymous said that she is the dominant female, while her sister Rebecca Phelps Roper is submissive female. I do think this is in part true and in part not quite accurate. Megan Phelps Roper definitely has elements of being dominant, but I believe she also has elements of being submissive. An interesting book is called Queen Bees and Wannabes. It's about how females make these hierarchical structures in their social packs. The leader is called the queen bee. The person on the bottom is the wannabe. Or you could also put it in other ways. There's an alpha female, there's an omega female, and then there's also in the middle some beta females. Megan Phelps Roper is in the middle, I say, because she has the ability to dominate, but she also can be very submissive. Just look at what she does when she's around her mother, Shirley Phelps Roper. Almost anyone would cower to Shirley Phelps Roper, including her husband. But, interestingly, Megan Phelps Roper doesn't show dominance to her mother. She is out there. She is perhaps the most vocal and the most apparent member of Westboro Baptist Church, but that doesn't mean she's the most dominant, that she's the alpha member of the group. When women have friendships, they often have a dominant and submissive pair because it's a polarity. It's magnets attracting. Therefore, it makes perfect sense that she would, as Megan would pair with Rebecca, there's dominant and submissive. But it's not necessarily the alpha female pairing with the omega female. I think it's oftentimes someone in the middle of the pack. Maybe the second beta with one of the omegas rather than the alpha. If you take a look at some of the videos, you see Sarah Phelps in the lead role. But watching the videos can tell you a lot about the interactions. She's not constantly around somebody else. Is Megan around Rebecca because she's trying to prove her dominance? Is that why she is always in front with the Twitter account, with her presence, while Sarah Phelps is more comfortable and more confident in her role of dominance? It could very well be the case. At least as the front goes, Sarah is very, very, very dominant. There's no room for weakness. Megan, on the other hand, has a lot of things going on in her, and there's a lot of forces pulling at her. Sarah seems firm in her dominance. Psychologists often say when you're so dominant in the front, it's often a reaction. It's often a compensation. And thus, I think that's the case with Sarah. Inside, she feels submissive, but she needs to have this very dominant personality forced out. Megan, on the other hand, is grabbed by so many forces, it's like everyone is going after her soul. I think there is good evidence that Sarah Phelps is the dominant female of that group, and Westboro Baptist Church, for the most part, is a very female dominant group. Most of the prominent people out in the front are females. Like I said, Megan Phelps Roper has some elements of dominance, but also elements of submissive submissiveness. She knows her place in the pack, first and foremost, and she sticks there. She doesn't seem to want to be the leader of the pack, she wants to be a leader. 